Welcome back to my channel, I'm Jade, and today I want to chat shoe capture wardrobes. As you know, I have been doing capture wardrobes for a few years now, and I feel like I'm getting better and better at them each time. And each time I do talk about all the clothes I include, but I haven't spent much time talking about accessories that I include, and I consider shoes to be one of those things. So over the past couple of years, I've really been able to narrow down exactly which shoes I need and wear, especially being in Switzerland where the weather is ranging from snow to 30 degrees and humid throughout the year and all the different seasons. So it's really important to have shoes that cover a wide range of weather varieties. And after a couple of years of experimenting, I've narrowed it down to just seven kinds of shoes that you need. Now this is being super minimal and it's not the only seven pairs of shoes that I have. There are some categories where I'll have more than one pair, but I wanted to show you how minimal you could be if you wanted to be when it comes to your shoes. And picking shoes that are going to tie in really well with your wardrobe and different occasions and just be the most versatile that they can be. I do like to invest in good quality shoes when I purchase them, so that's why I like to make sure they're going to be super versatile and I'll be able to get heaps of wear out of them. So I do go for leather where I can and I also choose ethical and sustainable brands where possible. Some of these shoes I've had for longer than I've been choosing those kinds of brands, so they might not be, but anything that I've bought recently is definitely within the eco-friendly range of products move on to the shoes. I'm going to start with the lightest shoe and move all the way up to the heaviest shoe and show you them in that order. So the first and the lightest shoe I have is my flat sandals. So these are really simple but also have some nice detailing. I generally actually always go for neutral colours because I want to be able to wear them with as much as possible, to be as versatile as possible. Um, I always make sure the sole is, isn't too stiff, so it's quite flexible, it's quite thick, it's even got a little bit of um, foot support moulding in it. This brand here is Saltwater and they have some really amazing ethical and sustainable practices and I just love how classic they are. Now in saying this, when it comes to sandals you might have a totally different style and that's absolutely fine. Um, so you might want to choose something that's got a bit of a wedge or that's even a heel. Uh, I guess the main point of this one is it's just super summery and super light um, and also comfortable. Then we have our heavier slides. So these are my Birkenstocks. Very simple, very classic, just in black. They are super comfy and super easy just to chuck on if I need to quickly run out the door or if we're going on a bit of a walk or if we're traveling, these are really comfortable to walk around in all day in summer. So that is why I love those. So the second pair is a pair of more practical open toed summery shoes. Then we start to move on to slightly heavier shoes, but still I consider these light. So these are my ballet flats and they are super simple, super versatile. They look really classy um, dressed up or can be super casual dressed down as well. These get me through um, the in-between season so even sometimes in summer if it's a, a cooler summer day but then also a lot of use in spring and autumn. And these are by Everlane, they're called the Day Glove. They're super comfortable. They even have little air holes on the side um, and they come in so many colors. My classic white sneakers are my next heaviest pair. So I love these because they're not super light sneakers. They're a leather, not a canvas, but they're also not super duper heavy. So I can get away with wearing them through autumn spring and summer. They're probably a little bit cold for winter in Switzerland, but in some places they would be fine for winter as well. 
Uh, and these ones I went for white. I think white sneakers are just, you can wear them with anything. Um, pants, dresses, skirts. They're just a really great classic piece to have in your wardrobe and probably at the moment my most worn piece since we're having a bit of a cooler spring. Um, wish I was wearing sandals, but anyway. So these are by a brand called Viha and they're actually one of the most sustainable and ethical shoe brands I've been able to find. So they even source all their cotton and rubber um, sustainably and organically, I think. Now, if sneakers are not really your thing, if they're a bit too casual, you could choose a lighter pair of boots instead of sneakers or some other kind of closed in middle of the range weight shoe that you can get away with wearing in warmer or cooler climates. Next up, I have my favorite Chelsea boots. These are my Blundstones, good Aussie brand. Um, they are pretty casual and um, probably not everybody's taste, but they are a bit of a heavier boot. They have a really nice thick sole for colder winter days or even autumn and spring days that are cooler. Um, they're a super versatile color. They're a really nice classic shape. So they go with dresses and pants, which is really nice. Um, again, if you're not as casual as I am, you might want to choose a boot that is a little bit more formal, but I love these. And now we are getting into our heavier, really wintry shoes. So I have another pair of boots. These are my Timberlands. These ones are more commonly seen in a tanny, um, sort of orangey color, but I got the black ones because I felt like they would be more versatile. So these are suitable for snow, but they're also not too heavy that I can't just wear them out in winter normally. So they're really versatile and I get most of my wear out of them in at the end of autumn and through winter as well. And finally, I have my heaviest pair of shoes, which are my Panama Jack boots. So these are very suitable for snow and cold winters. They are lined with sheepskin, they're leather, so they're waterproof as well. Um, and again, I've got a neutral color. So these ones I get the most wear out of in winter. So these are my, really, these are my winter boots and my snow boots. And the reason I love them is because a lot of snow boots you can't really get away with wearing normally every day. These ones you can. So that's why I went for those. So those are the seven types of shoes that I think you could get away with having throughout a whole year um, and incorporating into your, whether you have a seasonal capsule wardrobe or a whole year capsule wardrobe. If you want to be super minimal, they are the only shoes you will need. But if you like to have more than seven shoes, I totally understand that as well. And I do have more than that. But if I had to narrow it down, they are the ones I would keep. Um, I do in summer have a few more different sandal styles because I just like to mix things up. But in winter, I don't really have any other shoes than the ones I've shown. And also again, with my style, I'm very casual and comfy. That's my main focus with my clothes. I wanna look good and feel good at the same time. But if you are more formal or have a totally different style, you can still use these guidelines to help you pick a really core capsule um, range of shoes that will work well for you. It's really about choosing things that will be versatile um, when it comes to their colors and also choosing things that are appropriate for different weather situations. I really hope that was helpful. I do plan on doing another video like this, but for other kinds of accessories like uh, handbags or hats, or jewelry so let me know if that's something you would like me to do in the comments below give this video a like because it helps support my channel and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos see you next time